Welcome back to Living Local. I'm super excited today because joining us from All Alterations Tailoring and Embroidery in Somerville, we have Jim and his beautiful wife here to talk to us about, I'm telling you, their mask making, which we'll get to that in a second. But first off, Jim, tell us what you do at All Alterations. Oh, we pretty much do everything. Honestly, we do wedding gowns, prom dresses, men's suits, uh, patches for the uh, for our local police department, uh, their uniforms. Uh, A lot covers. of stuff for the Missouri family, because I've come to y'all yes, just, just to simply sew on a button. <laughs> yeah. We, y'all are fantastic. Done, you know, basic, we do from basic hemming all the way to custom designing, really. Well, talk so, about how COVID-19 kind of impacted your business and how you had to evolve from there. Really, uh, I mean, it, uh, uh, the business really hit uh, because the, the schools closed because the prom season was really a, one of our big things. And since the schools were closed, a lot of the kids could not do their proms. We couldn't do their suits or tuxedos and all that stuff. That hit us pretty bad. We had to close for at least a couple of months. That was bad. And uh, now we're slowly getting back on the track. People are more comfortable going back and sh doing shopping mm -hmm. and looking for clothes. They were hesitant even going out. So they were afraid to buy new clothes. If they're not buying new clothes, we can't do any repairs for them. We can't help them adjust to everything. Now, since they're going back in, uh, we're doing slowly doing it, but it's really not the same as before. Mm -hmm. So you're having to evolve. You and your beautiful bride have, you know, started switching things up. So everyone at home, I have been on this like desperate search to find a mask that fits my face. I don't know. I'm not a, it's not like I'm a small girl. Okay. Born and raised in Somerville. Everyone knows this, but so I came to y'all about, um, I mean, y'all turn these around really quickly, but Tell us about the mask making. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this one. This is my news two one. You see? Fantastic. You look great. <laughs> okay. Because remember I was telling y'all how hard of a time I was having, especially on air, because it was just so bulky. Have you been running into that a lot with people saying oh, definitely. that they're not fitting? Definitely. They've been getting masks from outside, already made masks. Even our uh, first responders are having the same problems. And uh, when they're going shopping, doing other things, they come in, the masks are too big or too tight. They can't breathe. So we adjust the, the bands, the fabric, but we make sure that the protection on the mask <laughs> is still there, but they can breathe easily. So we do custom masks for them as well. And this is the living local one. And y'all have all That's kinds of designs, which we're gonna show pictures of that as well. But this fabric is super nice. And it's breathable. And it is breathable. Time, it gives you protection at the same time. Are you having, you know, people come in with their own fabric? Or are you finding the fabric for them? I know I'll have to show this picture um, that you made when I just got married back in April, had my own little Zoom wedding, and you made um, ones that said, uh, just well, married. So anyway. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of fun. I really appreciated those. But um, what, are, what are some of the other things you've been doing as far as masks go? Uh, basically, what we're doing, we're, if they're coming in, they're bringing their own fabric sometimes, or we find fabrics for them. Uh, it's kind of difficult to go out and get fabric because you really don't know what's out there because when you go shopping for fabric, they're not letting you touch the fabric to feel what it is. We've been doing it hundreds of hundreds of masks for our first responders, believe it or not, for That's the fire awesome. department, the police department and the corrections department. Uh, that We've been doing that, but it's not what we want to do and hopefully mm -hmm. we the whole country gets out of this mess. Thank you so much for joining us today. And how do we keep in touch with you? What's the best way to, to reach you? Uh, just call us on uh, allalterations.net. Uh, Actually, they can go onto our website and or call us at 843-486-0066. That's our business number. All righty. Well, thank you both so much. And I'm sure I'll be thank seeing you. you very soon. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Well, more Living Local is coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll be right back.